Hi guys, welcome back to the news. The Nigerian Nurses Association says the purported nurse who gave Mobad the anti tetanus injection is quack and not its member. Yes, the National Association of Nigerian Nurses and Midwives, NAMAS, has said the nurse who treated the late Nigerian singer, popularly known as Mobad, had reportedly gave him an injection before his death, is not a registered health practitioner. The union said this in a press statement dated September 22, 2023, released by the office of Toba Odomusu, the state secretary, NAMS Lagos State Council, describing the arrested nurse as a quack. On Thursday, it was reported that the Lagos State Police Command arrested the nurse. A police source told news reporters that investigators established that the musician was beaten by the same people who always threatened and harassed him after a show he had in Ikorudu. He was said to have sustained injuries following the beating, leading him to seek the service of a nurse at home. It was learned that Mobad started conversion after being given injections, one of which was said to be an anti titanus shot. Well, my country people, reacting to this, the National Association of Nigerian Nurses and Midwives expressed their disappointment on how various media platforms qualified the arrested suspect as a nurse without investigating her medical expertise. Well, my country people, now the Nigerian Nurse Association says that nurse that gave Mobad the anti titanus injection is a quack and not its member. Yes, my country people, they have rejected how saying that the nurse that injected the late rapper was not registered. This is coming from the Lagos chapter of the National Association of Nigerian Nurses and Midwives and has disclaimed you know, the nurse who allegedly injected Mobad before his demise. Well, my country people, this issue of this Mobad's death has surrounded, in fact, a lot of controversies are in it, and the a lot of people that are being pointed as suspects in this. Now we know that the nurse who gave Mobad that injection, that titanus injection, is a major suspect because with all said and done this nurse is not even a registered member with the uh, national association of the nigerian nurses and midwives to an extent they have rejected her saying she's not even recognized a lot of people have been pointing fingers that in the core of in the course of the investigation into mobile's death because recently um the police had assumed his his body his corpse from the grave yes my country people they had extracted his corpse from his grave where they had to run some autopsy on it now a lot of people have been raising questions on why mobad was hurriedly buried after his death and a lot of people have been making comments on his videos you know especially that the one that um Someone was actually recording Mubad when they were rushing him to the hospital or I think after the hospital when the person was saying, oh, Mubad is dead, this and that. But then people noticed that Mubad had shifted his neck. A lot of people had taken note of that, that Mubad shifted while that person was vi recording that video. And a lot of people are saying, oh, the person that recorded that video should be arrested. You know, and uh, this nurse, according to this Nigerian Association of Nurses, that's the National the National Association of Nigerian Nurses and Midwives, Lagos State Council has denied saying that this nurse was not registered. And yes, she she's in connection with the death of the popular singer, popularly known as Mobad, and the body has been exhumed. You know, and the body is undergoing autopsy and currently the body of Mobad has been taken into custody by the police 
but now we are hearing reports that this nurse that gave him this titanus injection is you know is not a professional nurse so my country people a lot of people are just you know saying a lot of things recently we are hearing reports on how uh, there was a missing intestine of a 12 year old child you know by i think a, a hospital in lagos how come we have medical practitioners that are not even registered, that are working in hospitals, recognized hospitals, and all of that? So, my country people, there is a lot more to this mobile death than we are actually uh, seeing. There's a lot more. A lot of people have been saying that mobile have been receiving threats, you know, even before his death. And uh, a lot of people are pointing fingers at Naira Mali, uh, the other person, I think uh, Larry, Sam Larry, yes, Sam Larry. A lot of people are pointing fingers at this too, you know. But then, guys, what are your thoughts on this issue? I guess Mobad had been in a very depressed state before his death. He has been crying out, but no one listened to his cries until when he was pronounced dead. And then people are still emphasizing that Mobad wasn't dead when he was buried. That that injection they gave him tried to portray him as a dead person, but he wasn't actually dead until when they buried him. Because when they exhumed the body of Mobad, there were fresh bloods on the ground, I mean, at the casket. There were fresh bloods there. How come this blood was still fresh for someone that has been buried for over six to seven days? How come? So people finally came to a conclusion that, see, Mobad did not die when they buried him. He wasn't dead. So who now declared him dead? What was their purpose of declaring Mobad dead? Because the father of Mobad did not even leave this guy in the mortuary at least for a day or two. The, today we heard Mobad was dead and the next day Mobad is being buried. To top it off, this guy's neck was being broken so he could fit into the, the casket that was prepared for him. So my country people, there's a lot more to this Mobad's death too. And I'm sure the police are doing their work and uh, the nurse has been arrested for questioning because she's one of the prime suspects in the sudden demise of Mobad. Guys, I'm dropping here. What are your thoughts on this? Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comments section. Thank you.